so much of cannabinoid research, um, you know, is cell culture models and rodent models and a little bit of human clinical data. And it's all interesting and it, there's wisdom to be gleaned from all these, these different studies, but it's, you've got to be really careful. Well, yeah, I'd let, let's use an example. And I want to go back to the hepatic damage yeah. from CBD issue. <clears throat> there was uh, an article that came out recently. It was a rodent study. The doses of cannabidiol that they were using mm -hmm. purportedly uh, producing liver damage would be impossible to attain uh, in a human. And somehow this travesty passed peer review <laughs> and was widely reported uh, by the media. Uh, it has no correspondence to reality. I just wish that it had been sent to me and I would have done my best to ensure that uh, it didn't deserve publication and um, this kind of thing. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this kind of material is often produced uh, with uh, taxpayer money. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it's more than intellectually dishonest. It's downright dangerous and unethical. Yeah, and it, it just perpetuates more misunderstanding among um, not just a lay audience, but... Um, physicians and other healthcare providers that are working with patients that are reporting use and, and trying sure. to conceptualize what that means. Well, I know that I got 10 personal queries about it that mm -hmm. I had to address and dispel what are uh, just spurious rumors and um, basically propaganda. Yeah. <laughs>